Well, good afternoon, dear friends. It's about two o'clock in the afternoon in London. Jay is with you, and so is Timothy. Hello, Timothy. Um, today, there is no particular purpose to our video. It's going to be just a friendly chat with you um, to tell you what's going on. Um, as people say in Russian, I think it's called Baltalka, Pabaltat. So, in the river, you see some boats. I will let Timothy talk to you about that because this is his um, domain. But far away, if you look carefully, you could just see the top of the London Eye. And you can, of course, see the building that we featured many times in our videos, which is the Shard and the beige buildings to the right of the shard and that is the private london bridge hospital and some of the offices so we are on the river not too far from the tower of london and i will pan out to that um, this particular building i am showing you right now is part of the cheval group of five star apart hotels so you basically have an apartment but um, it gets cleaned every day for you so instead of a room you actually have a full apartment so you can see that some some of it is beautiful views onto the river and of course right in front of us is HMS Belfast Timothy will talk to you about that I have stayed in this building a couple of times uh, when we had some wealthy guests visiting. I have to say that whilst it's a very nice location and lovely balconies and we did have a view right on this side, the beds in there are not very comfortable. Um, so I guess it's a bit personal. So I will also show you quickly a restaurant that is here. It's called Copa. Now, in terms of the menu, there is nothing too special about it. You can find some seafood, you could find some meat, you could find some uh, vegetarian options. What is interesting here is, of course, again, you're on the river and Timothy is here. So you have beautiful views and it's also very cool if you have an opportunity um, to dine in one of these um, I think it's I don't think it's glass it's probably plexiglass um, these little globes so I think that that's that's quite cool and quite nice inside there as well and just to show you how close we are to the Tower of London uh, so the Tower of London is right behind these old um, buildings which are housing the security detail as well as many souvenir shops of course we would be failing in our duty not to point out that in a week's time there will be a coronation and the city is full of tourists tomorrow Monday is a bank holiday it's the spring bank holiday i don't really know the background to that and may the, day may bank holiday yes may day may, may bank holiday but first of may because which is a holiday in russia as well um and next monday is also bank holiday because of the coronation uh some very die hard royalists so you can have a view of the tower bridges i'm talking so some die-hard royalists are already lining up on the mall uh, which is a great venue uh, leading to the buckingham palace which would um, allow them the views of the ceremony so they're already putting up the tents and preparing to live on the mall <laughs> for a week to wait for the coronation we've also noticed that some of the shops that have been closed during covid 
have opened up not the original shops but someone must have rented them out particularly towards the top of this street further across there and those shops given again the proximity to the Tower of London and so many visitors and the coronation coming they are full of various royal memorabilia uh, or as I call them chachkas um, but hey uh, you know they're, they're doing uh, roaring business so uh, you know if that's what people are happy about good for them I'm going to now pass the baton of uh, chatting to Timothy so he can tell you about things that are happening this lovely afternoon on the river the temperature by the way is 17 degrees Celsius it is sunny and a little bit hazy um, so I wouldn't say it's cloud oh, it's a little bit overcast it's a bit overcast. yeah it's a little bit overcast but it is a very nice day as you can see lots of people are wearing t-shirts light jackets um, so yeah it's it's a nice day for London especially considering we're still last day of April so Timothy please take it away for our friends okay so if we come over and look over down here then the yellow boat that you can see is one of the rib experiences they've got red ones of those as well the only difference between the yellow and the red is the company that operates them uh, the, maybe maybe explain to people what rib stands for so a rib such as this yellow one here is a rigid hulled inflatable boat so you can see around the outside it's got an inflatable pontoon and the middle of it is a fiberglass hull so the main bit that cuts through the water is fiberglass but it's got a lot of uh, buoyancy on the outside it also means it's got one big great fender around the outside so those boats go up the river a little bit and some of them start up at Embankment Pier which is quite a number of bridges up the river and they'll slowly go up and down that part and then once they get to Tower Bridge here they'll start speeding up and they'll uh, go quite fast down towards Greenwich uh, they'll also do some slaloms and other things like that typically playing some music or some sounds to help get you in the appropriate mood uh, one of the times that we did it they were playing some of the James Bond theme yes. so that one was quite interesting and they were turning the boat to the side quite a lot so if you are nervous on the water uh, I don't remember did they give the life uh, jackets or not yes they I do get they, 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 do, they do get uh, the yeah. life jackets but, but the still, life it... jackets that they wear they're just a hoop around your um, neck and they're inflatable ones so they're very thin normally and you don't tend to worry about them they're not uh, ones that have already got the foam in them yeah and uh, still it, it's a really fun experience but perhaps if you are not too comfortable on the water uh, if you tend to get a bit seasick probably not the experience for you however there is an alternative Timothy if you tell our friends about the clippers because there is one with the pink uh, with the pink uh, stripe are, on the, it is that a the, clipper? no <laughs> this is one of the tourist uh, boats just so a tourist boat you can see Where's the clipper? further up I was looking around I can't see a clipper at the moment if you look further up You've got a boat that's mostly white on the back. You've got some writing on it and it's got an orange stripe across mm. the writing. You've also got this white one with the pink side on it. Uh, both of those are sightseeing boats. So they typically start at one of the uh, piers and they'll go up and down. If we come around, we can just see one of the clippers through the pier here 
it's just starting to move off and you can see it going out there. That was the one that was making the horn sound uh, as I was talking before. You might be able to see it just through. Yep, yeah, it's moving towards Tower Bridge and yep, it says Sun I, Clipper on the back of it. I might be able to get something that way. You can kind of just see the top of it. And if I see another one coming, I will certainly um, let Jane know. But the clippers are catamarans that go down and they're commuter boats. So they stop at Tower Pier here. They'll stop across the river there at London Bridge Pier. And uh, no, there isn't a clipper on it at the moment. And they go all the way up and down the river. I think the furthest down the river that they stop is uh, Canary Wharf. And I think... Canary Wharf would be to the left. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Canary Wharf's oh, down no, they that go way. To Greenwich. Okay. Yeah, they go further than that. So they go to Greenwich. And if you go to the right, they go as far as Chelsea, I think. Um, so they are sort of hop on, hop off. They can be used as tourist uh, boats as well, uh, but clippers, especially off season, and they're mostly known as commuter uh, commuter boats. Uh, but nowadays, that would be uh, touristy boats as well. If you look, uh, uh, just, I can just see uh, one coming through there so if you look through that you can see the two hulls of one as the people pass in the foreground and so that one is going to come up to the pier here and it's going to stop at this pier so people can get on and off and then it's going to stop at the pier across the river uh, they're kind of like buses on the river except they go a lot faster and a lot further per stop yeah if uh, if you've been to paris um on the river seine in paris uh, they have something similar called uh, le bateau mouche uh and that's pretty much the same concept oh there is a plane i don't know if if you can see it uh, i'm having a glare so i don't uh, yeah it's right above our heads I don't know where it's going or what airline it is. Going in that direction, it's either taken off from Stansted, which is behind, or it's going towards Gatwick. And, and by the sound, it almost sounded like the engines were slowly spooling down, so I'd be guessing. And there is a plane taking off as well, I can see yes. in the distance. Um, if you look across the river, so we are on the north bank, we're looking across the river to the south bank, and of course the um, onion looking building is the London City Hall, which we had shown before. You can probably see how many people are wandering about because it is a lovely day. People are having snacks, people are having coffees, they're just enjoying the weather. Um, yeah, enjoying the long weekend because hey, it's three days of not working. I'm not aware of any school holidays per se, but I'm sure lots It'll of people be... will yank their children out of school, not only in the UK, but from around the world because London is going to see the tourists from all over the world next weekend for the coronation. And I dare say that most people are already coming to visit. Um, so this Monday and next Monday is, are not a school day. Uh, bank yeah. holidays, the children don't go to school. In the UK. In but the UK. In other countries, so they're England, regular. Wales, Scotland and Northern Ireland. <laughs> so they will be stopping. So if we look across the river here at HMS Belfast. Oh yes, HMS Belfast. HMS Belfast. I so forgot. as far as I remember, the Belfast served in World War II or just came into service at the end of World War II and served all the way up through Korean 
uh, and um, Vietnam War and was retired from service, I think in the 70s or 80s. So it is a British battleship and of course they, nobody really uses battleships these days. So uh, she's now a floating museum and people can also book the Belfast for dinners and other type of social events. Yes, I think it's mostly corporate type of events rather than uh, a personal event. Although I dare say, uh, if you have enough money, you probably can. Um, um, here goes another tourist stroke party boat. All that one's surrounded probably with a glass. tourist boat. Yeah. The party boats look a little different from that. Um, this one just here, how it is, uh, it, it looks as though it'll double up both as a tourist and a bit of a party, mm. well, into the evening, but yeah. mostly um, touristy it, type boats. It's lovely to be on the river today because the weather is great. It's warm, it's not very windy, so you can be outside on the upper deck of the boat. Um, yeah, so we just wanted to show you around a little bit. You can see loads of people are milling about by the Tower of London. And we've also had our walk, we've been to the shops, uh, looked at whether there were any fruits and vegetables and basically didn't buy any because the shelves are mostly bare <laughs> yes there I were mean, some there were a bunch of things uh, but my, nothing was really jumping out yeah at us. but uh, before anyone starts saying that we're completely starving here we are not we only went to one shop and as we said in our previous videos before because we live in a city we do not have the luxury of as many shops as you would have in the suburbs um so it's a little also, bit of the a... fridge and freezer are a little smaller because space is at a premium uh, in the shops of course uh, so, but, but I... we are not we are not starving so no problem with that We've we're still bid... got plenty of stuff in exactly. the fridge and freezer we're bidding you a good rest of the weekend Wishing you a good, healthy and blessed week ahead. Take care of yourselves and each other with lots of love from London, from Jay and from Tim. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please put the thumbs up. We appreciate that and we love seeing your comments as well. Ah, and before we go, we can see the clipper just taking off here. Uh, I'm going to keep a quick view of it. You can see just how quickly uh, they make their way up and down the river. That, that one's just coming out from the end of the pier now. It's kind of a bit slower to go across the river. This is what's called in show business the bonus scenes. Yep, so we can see it just across the river there. Sorry about the shaking us, but when you zoom in it's not exactly the most stable. So yeah, that one is the bonus shot of the clipper uh, going from Tower Pier across to London Bridge Pier. And then that clipper, as I said, is a commuter boat that goes up and down the Thames. So we'll finish that one up now. So as we were saying, take care of both yourself and each other. Yeah, and we are bidding you a very good week from London with lots of love. Das Vidanya.